right well that didn't take long did it so we got the car back I've had been back a day what's today tuesday so it's been a day uh, it was a really big week for me last week so i was a little bit worn out over the weekend so i didn't do too much just tidied up but of course now we've pulled it apart so i've got darren here for a couple of days so we've taken the car taken all the panels off it and put it back in the rotisserie because now i'm going to paint um, the underside so i'm going to stone guard the bulk of underneath but this area here the guys up there just put some blue on it to seal it up so this will be black all the way through so that'll be satin black and i've got all this now rubbed with 800 we did that yesterday so that's all pretty much good to go and then all inside i'm just going to put some cf black on it it really doesn't need any more paint but i'm going to do it just so it looks good for some of that because um, it'll be sitting there and Adam's going to put some um, sound deadening and stuff inside it, so there's no need for us to put any stone guard on it. On the underside, this had new floors and some extra rails and stuff, so I'm going to stone guard a large proportion of it, but things like the rails, maybe the seat mounts, I'll actually leave them like they are. So I'll stone guard it, and then I'm going to put some, um, I reckon I'll go black base coat with some satin clear. That'll really seal it up, it'll look good and that way I can run my satin clear all the way around in one go. And we need to do inside the boot. I've just got Darren at the moment putting a bit of um, sicker urethane. So we're just sealing up anywhere they've overlapped the panels where we don't want moisture getting in. I'm not trying to seal the whole thing up, but things like this line around here where the wheel arches are going to be, where you've got a lot of water, We'll seal all that up before I put the stone guard on it. And what we've done is obviously mark stuff all, masked off all of our blue paint. So where there's anything showing now is going to end up being um, black. And then all these other panels are sitting here waiting um, for me to do the underside. So I've got to do the satin black onto the bonnet, inside the guards, um, boot and doors are finished. So. There's those things, and then we've got a whole lot of parts down here as well. So I've had Adam, um, they want everything black. So I've had him get the plater to strip the chrome off of this piece, and that's still got the copper, which is good. So I can sand all that down, and then all these mouldings and things, we need to do those as well in black. So I've had Adam just do those on his little sandblaster and then steering column and those sorts of things. So still plenty to do. Um, we've got about four weeks left, I think, to get it done. It'll go back to Adam and Kylie down at Perry's garage. They're going to put some suspension under it and hopefully some front and back screens. And it'll be on the PPG stand as a rolling shell at Summonats. Righto, so I'm ready to go with some sound editor. So I'm using a product from Car Builders. I know they've got some new stuff out now. I've just done a little test run. So I'm using their gun, which is um, adjustable, which is very good. And my aim now is just to put a coating, you know, where I think the factory might have had it. The reason I've masked off some of this stuff is just to keep it a bit cleaner, you know, where the tank mounts and the suspension mounts. And then I've filled up the hole so I don't get too much on the inside. So I'll Grab the gun and get into it.
Right, -o, so I've jumped out here this morning before everyone got in to try and get this underway. So what I've done now is I've um, put that stone guard on yesterday and this morning I've come in and put a couple of coats of the CF Black Epoxy, so that's this one. Now I've gone with that because it's black and I don't need to paint over it. So I can paint directly over this. Um, it's one of the reasons I use that product because I don't have to actually then put a colour on it. And what I'm going to do now is put a satin clear. And I thought overnight, this edge here along any car that I do, I like to keep this front edge of the sill panel black. So it'll be satin black because they always look untidy hanging down from the bottom of the sill. And then when I've put the stone guard on, I've highlighted things like these rails that have been added. And down here you can see where the, the seat belt mounts are and also the tank mounts in the back, just so there's a little bit of variation, not everything's done in the stone guard. But I'm happy the way it's coming along. So I'll get this clear on and then I'm gonna do the firewall and the dash components. Righto, so there's the result. So that's two coats of the satin clear. So what I'm using is a combination of D8115 and D8117 mixed 50-50. So you've got a matte clear and a semi-gloss and that gives me a satin. And I really like that finish and I've used it a lot. So you can see there where there's no stone guard on it. And the rest of it, um, it looks a little bit glossier. I think it'll dry out just a little bit more yet. And it'll all go back to this nice sheen um, that I think looks sort of factory. And the thing about this clear coat, it's designed for the external of late model cars that are done in matte. And because of that, it's very hardy. So using on the underside, it's probably a little bit expensive, but at the same token, it will last a long time because it's designed to be used and cleaned on the outside of a car. Righto, so the last bit on the body now. So we've just got um, some primer there and the blue from up at PPG so I'm now going to put some black base coat over that, a couple of coats of that and then I'll do the satin clear the same as I used underneath. So I've got the rest of the car all plasticed off underneath as well so I should be able to just give that a squirt now and we'll be all good to go. Right, well it's good to see something looking finished so it the shell's pretty much done, I've got a little bit of polishing to do, but the majority of, of what's got to be done has been done. Really happy with the way the firewalls come out, so I've done all of that with the machine. Um, haven't tried to block it dead square because it's not dead square, and we've used that satin um, finish clear on it. So it's jet black base coat. It's got that nice sheen about it, and I've run that up into here so behind the glass as well you get that nice black without the reflection when you're driving. So that's the same black we will use on all the outside, so the bumpers. Um, where else? Oh, on the bonnet and um, all of the, the chrome trim that runs around here will all be done in the black as well. So we're in the process of doing that and you'll see that in an episode or so's time. Um, but we're really about trying to get all of the chassis and all of those parts done now and that'll be done in the, the Dell Fleet satin black and I need to do that this week so that we can then assemble the car when Darren's back next week for a couple of days so him and I'll put all the, the panels back on and we can work towards um, me finishing off all the other bits and pieces like the, the satin finish on the bonnet. Righto, so double teamed up here, I've got some black primer and some white primer going. So the white primer is a high build primer that I'm just putting on. These were pretty rusty and average and the bumpers have been all bogged up. So I've used the high build rather than using the, um, the spray poly. And they're looking pretty slick now. And then we've stripped off that chrome nose cone back to the copper. And I'm sure I'll put that somewhere else in the program. Um, so I'll put primer on that, we'll get that up, rubbed up real nice and then all these other parts that are getting a little bit of white overspray but not too bad. This is a, a black wet on wet primer in the Dell Fleet range and it's an F4949 and I haven't used it before, it's a bit of a trial for me but so far so good, it's looking real nice and we're going to use the Dell Fleet black over this and on the chassis as well. 
So pretty happy the way that's all progressing. One of the biggest issues with doing, you know, when you're painting a whole car is all this small stuff. So obviously steering column has um, been assembled for being reconditioned. And then all of these parts here, there's some reproduction parts, some original that we're now sanding up to be able to have the black process done to them. And some of these, so this is a repo. Um, and we've just given that a light sand. These ones here, I did put some CF black epoxy on them and the other parts here as well. So they're now just getting a final rub before we go with the Del Fleet F4949. And then we'll put some of the um, Del Fleet satin black on it. And if we head out to the booth, you'll see where I'm up to there now. And like I say, there's nearly as much work in all the parts as there is in the body. Um, and doing all the undersides. So this was um, on the weekend. Um, these inner guards now, so they've been um, epoxied. Then we use the um, spray poly and now they're back into a high build primer. So I'll get those all rubbed out. Same with the bumpers, the nose cone um, in the high build and then all the other parts down the back are in that 4949 for the Dell fleet. So they'll now just, I, I wanted to do those to make sure I had anything showed up that I had an issue with um, and so far so good. So this primer lays down nice and flat. You can see there, so that's a new part, so there's no rust pits or anything in it. But you can see that's primer and it has that nice sort of glossy look to it. Now by the data sheet, I can leave that for up to 14 days and still apply my paint over it without rubbing it. I plan to give them all a light scuff um, just to find any issues that may be there, but I think it's going to be a good product to use that if you've got brackets and things in a restoration that you can actually spray them like that. If you've got something you want to rectify, you can do it. Um, give it a bit of a sand, otherwise they're ready to go wet on wet with your matte black or your satin black. Righto, so back in the booth again. So I've got these all done with the stone guard. So they'll now have um, the Del Fleet primer and the the satin black, all the other parts, there's a range of finishes there. The, the white on the chassis was the 4949 out of the Delfleet range without any tinter. And I've used that just as a bit of a filler. And the others, so this Delfleet goes straight over bare metal. And the ones that are in black there, I've already done those with the primer and used that just as a bit of a base because it's a new product I haven't used before. But it went on really nice and I expect to be able to put wet on wet primer and then onto the satin black in that Delfreet. So we'll get the, uh, the suit on and get it going. Righto, so it's been a couple of hours. That's come out really nice. I'm happy with the sheen on that. So that's, um, I'll put up a link on exactly what that is, but it's, it's Delfleet. Um, direct gloss with a matting agent and I'm really happy with the sheen that we've got on that and I put two coats of the primer and then two coats of the top coat and I put that through the primer through a 1.4 thin to 2.25 and the paint I did in a 1.3 thin to 2.25 as well so it went on nice can't see too many runs, not too much dry spray. So really happy with the way that's come out. Right, hey, we'll get that out of here and get ourselves organised to get the next lot in. Got to do the inside of the front fenders now and the tops of these um, inner guards so we can start putting it back together. Right, so another load in the booth. So all the inside's going black now. So these inner guards I did earlier this morning in the wet on wet primer in the 4949 in the Delfleet range come up really nice. And all of these others now getting ready to take some black. 
and that'll finish all those panels off because we've got to start putting this car back together. Right, oh, so that's been a couple of hours now, so it's all nicely matted off. Really happy with the, the sheen on that. So I'm just going to start tearing all the masking off now, make sure I've got no blow throughs on my masking because I can get it off easily now, but if I wait till tomorrow, not so easy. So really happy with the way that it's all come out. So that's the Dell fleet. And these ones here I did on wet on wet. So they look good. Righto, so we're about to try and put this car back together. So we only actually had the whole thing assembled once. So this is going to be interesting. Everything's painted um, in that nice satin black. And what Adam's done is actually got me a whole new set of bolts and had them re-zinked in black. So the advantage there is, is that they're firstly protected really well, but secondly, they're a nicer looking black than what the ones were that came direct in the repo. So we're gonna start putting this together and I'll just get Louise to film a little bit of that as we go. And um, fingers crossed it all goes back together the way it come apart. So we're pretty good at putting forwards together, but not so much um, Chev. So we'll just trial fit one of the guards in a minute and just make sure all these inner guards, because we did move things around a fair bit to get gaps in that right. And because the chassis is separate and rubber bushed, we can move that around a bit. So the issue today is going to be about getting everything aligned properly before we try and tighten everything up. One of the things you've got to think about when you do a paint job like this, because it's been masked from the back, the paint sits on the masking and then leaves this nice little furry edge. Now, if you leave it like that, you go to put your locks in, they won't fit because of the paint, and then when you go to pull it back out, it's going to want to pull the paint off. So what I use is a couple of files. So I've got a flat file and I've got a round file. And I'm just going to file these back. The trick here is, is to make sure that you're pushing the file away from the edge and not drawing back up on it. And 
we'll just go through and the little round ones to obviously do some of these this way. And the only sort of Howard's tip I've got is it probably doesn't hurt to take the end off because sometimes when you get a bit carried away you go like that and run a scratch across the paint. And I'm telling you that because I've done it. So it's really a matter of cleaning it up. You get a nice clean edge for your lock to go in and then the same applies down here where these bolts have got to go in. That also needs to be cleaned up. Now if you're worried about having a bit of raw edge there because you're filing back to the effectively to the steel, you can rub it, run a little bit on with a brush, but I don't know that I've ever worried about that um, because this has got a seal and all on it. So just one of those things you need to do before the door goes on the car. Righto, so the deadline's caught up with us a little bit. I was hoping to have the whole car together um, before we did this video and finished it off. But I thought I'd just show you some of the things. So I know I've showed you tables of parts before. I think this is a new table. So these parts are all going black. Um, these are aluminium. We've got some stainless steel. Um, these were chrome that have been stripped back. These are aluminium that were chrome plated. We've stripped them back so that they can be actually painted with um, the black process. So the CF black epoxy and then base coat and then the satin clear. One of the issues with painting things like mouldings, like this, is how do you manage to paint it all the way around and get a decent job. So what I've done there is just use a bit of wire to make a clip almost to go in behind. It's quite sturdy. And then the little legs on it, I'll tape that now down to a board in the, in the booth. And then I can paint the whole moulding. So you can imagine the time now is I've got to set all these little bits up so that they can be cleaned properly and painted and elevated so I can get all the edges. So Steve's been rubbing all those down. I've just made that one up now. I'll get him to start making those and we'll start setting the booth up because if we go back over to the car, we're getting closer and closer. So the boot needs adjusting still just testing where the rubber goes and how that all works and down this side now we've got this side all on and the gaps are looking nice um, for the level of car that we're doing and we've been able to get that all back on with the inner guards and one of my fears was the fact that the inner guards were on it when it came here but because we didn't need to modify or check anything I just need to make sure it goes back on so it's all going on all the front now all these parts you've seen before. So the engine bay is different to the moulding. So the engine bay has been done with the, the Del Fleet. So that's a satin black um, and it's a 4949 primer that can go direct to bare metal or to paint and wet on wet with the black. So it's a really good result. Looks just like an original part, which is really good. And then I've used that um, also on the inside of these panels. And the little things that sort of you think about when you're going to assemble is to get this nose cone to fit perfectly with this once it's on the car. There doesn't appear to, from the factory to be any way of making sure it can't move. So Darren's just been making some brackets up that we've going to mount in behind. So once it all goes together we can actually put a couple of bolts in there so that it doesn't move once it's on the road. The gap between this panel and the, and the, I guess the nose cone, I want to make sure that it doesn't move because it's such a critical part of the front of the car. So that's just holding us up a little bit. The other guard's sitting there waiting to go on. And the very last thing is all of these things. Um, the owner of the car wants everything black. So we've pulled apart the lights, so I've got to paint all of these bits of stainless steel black. These ones here, I've taken the rubbers off, we'll back mask all of those chrome bits and get that all painted up in the black when I do the moulding. So, pretty happy where we're at. We've got about um, nine days to go to get it to Adam and Kylie, going to pick it up the day before Christmas so they can then put the suspension in to have it ready for all you guys to see at Summonats. Mm -hmm.